sound mind, and a fulfilled spirit, in an inflexible body, is the best way, to describe a healthy person. We live in a time where people, do not have time, for the most basic necessities, in life, like family and friends, are taking time off to take care, of their own health, despite this lack of time. What does the term healthy mean? Good health in general, is not necessarily just the absence of diseases, nor is it looking bulky, and strong. It is a state of well-being, where you are balanced in the three, most important aspects of your life. Physical ability, mental strength, spiritual beliefs, someone, who is able to successfully achieve balance, in all three of these aspects, need not worry about having a body, that does not look well built. Form follows function in this instance, and if you are truly healthy, you will look healthy. Here I am going to talk specifically about physical ability. Physical health. When I ask a client, how do you achieve physical health? The most common answer I get is, hit the gym. There is a reason for this, great marketing. Don't get me wrong, I am not against going to the gym. And if you are going to the gym, please don't stop. I'm against the idea that one HR, three times a week is enough movement. We were built to move, not just a couple of hours a week, and not just in a couple of monotonous patterns. You are a dynamic creature, with a dynamic body all you have to do is explore. How many people do you know that, have been going to the gym, for years getting on the same treadmill, walking around the same part of the track, and still look, and feel the same way? It's time we realize that the basic mantra, in getting fit is not in the gym, but in letting our body have the freedom, to do, what it was actually designed to do. I understand we all have a life, work a spouse, children, friends, etc. Most people spend the majority of their adult life, at work. And a lot of those people, are sitting at desk all day. The human body, was not designed to be sitting in a single, static position throughout the whole day. But, uh, that is exactly what we are doing. Our monotonous lifestyle, has slowly killed the immense capabilities our bodies possess. And lucky for us, the never-ending growth in technology has ensured, that we remain static, and stagnant unless we are deliberate, in our attempts to move. This is another reason people are drawn towards a gym, as soon as they become health conscious, however, the true potential of our body can be unlocked, in a much simpler way, primal patterns, primal patterns, squat bend, lunge push, pull twist, and gait walking running, I will create a post, about each one of these patterns, but for this post, I am just going to name them, these patterns may sound like a set, of routine activities to most, the truth is they are not really routine, for most people anymore. For most the only real physical activity, these days is walking. We rarely come across situations, in our daily life, that actually require us to perform any of the, above mentioned patterns, don't believe me. Here are a couple examples. Move objects around while moving, to new house, we have movers for that. Have a fresh long morning walk, along the beach. No time late to drop the kids off at school. Sprint to catch the bus that's just moving from your bus station. Never mind, let me call a cab. Have a nice play time with the kids. For several hours after your office time. No, the kids are more interested in their Xbox. I can sit here all day. The important part of this introspection is to understand that the answer to most of these examples is just to be deliberate. Take time to move your body, allowing your body to constantly be in touch with the regular day-to-day -day activities will improve your motor skills and improve your physical ability. As Charles Darwin's theory of evolution explains, the future of any living organism in the world is more dependent on its own actions than any other external factors. Humans are no exception to this theory. You choose to walk more, your legs and heart become stronger, and you help your digestion. With the twisting of your torso, you choose to hang, push or pull those muscles, ligaments and tendons become stronger, by the day. Be deliberate. So what actions can you take? I'll give you three basic movements to try out. For people who haven't moved in years try this, set your alarm to go off every hour, even at work. Get up from your chair and do 10 breathing squats. It will only take you about 2 minutes.
That's it. If you were paid 9 HRS a day, like most, by the end of your workday, you would have done 80 to 90 breathing. Squash. A breathing squat is simple, but effective. Start out standing. Inhale through your nose, using your belly. Take a nice deep breath. Now as you exhale lower your body into a squatting position. Go as low as you can comfortably. When you inhale stand back up. The key is to time new breath with your movements. The slower you breathe the slower your movement etc. For folks looking for a little more challenge. Find time to do 10 carp wheels. Yes, carp wheels. Being inverted is something that will challenge your nervous system in a new way. If you do them in succession you'll be surprised at how fast your heart will start pumping. Now for the people who move on a regular basis and need something a little more challenging I want you to look up and try these movements. Do them for 10 yards forward and then 10 yards in reverse. The inchworm, the duck walk, the beast, the crab walk, the frog walk, the monkey. These movements are for you to start with. The point is to have fun and experiment. Enjoy your body and the mobility it brings. Have fun. Until next time. In Lake Akalakin.